Hello everyone. I, Dr. Vibha Rathod from Humanities Department is going to take another topic from the idea of Bharat. Idea of Bharat is the syllabus for BA first semester where unit 5 is having a very interesting topic that is science and technology in ancient India. So today we are going to explore that what kind of science and technology was there with ancient Indians and how it was gradually developed. Albert Einstein said that we owe a lot to the ancient Indians teaching us how to count, without which most modern scientific discoveries would have been impossible. So here we can say that we can see that the people in other countries were having a lot of respect towards Indian knowledge system. In ancient India, we were having lot of brilliant minds, brilliant people, ancient scenes and philosophers, modern scientists and the research nowadays are showing that the important contribution in science and technology was done by these seers and scientists 100 years of before the modern laboratories were built. Numerous ideas and methods developed by ancient Indians, which helped build and strengthen the foundations of modern science and technology all over the world. Many of the advances in the science that we consider today to have been made in Europe were made in India centuries ago. When we talk about maths, as we all know that zero is given by Indians. Ancient Indians introduced the decimal system and ingenious methods of representative, representing numbers using 10 symbols. Each symbol has a positional and absolute value. The simplicity of this notion greatly facilitated calculations, making arithmetic more efficient and practical for various applications. Not only with the people or the scientists or the mathematicians in 4th or 6th century, we were having Harappans also, those who know the art of measurement. Excavations at Harappan sites have uncovered, uh, uncovered the rulers, made ivory and shell marked with remarkably precise subdivisions. Here you can see the picture of ruler. So these rulers which were made from ivory and shell were already discovered, were already uncovered by the Harappan people. So it means that they were knowing how to calculate and how to measure the things. These measurements were closely matched the hasta units of 1, 3 to 8 inches used in ancient South Indian architecture. Additionally, ancient bricks found at these sites have dimensions that align with the units of these rulers. When we talk about great mathematicians of ancient India, we were having few names with us. One is Bodhayan. Bodhayan was the first to calculate the value of pi and discover the Pythagorean theorem centuries before the ancient Greeks. Aryabhat was the second one. He was a mathematician as well as he was an astronomer also. He was a 5th century mathematician who introduced the concept of zero and made significant contribution to algebra, geometry and astronomy. Brahmagupta of 7th century mathematician who brought maths on the new heights. He introduced negative numbers and operations on zero. He also showed how to find cubes, cube roots, squares, square roots and he wrote a book which is known as Brahm Sputa Siddhantika which introduced the Arabs to our mathematical theory. Fibonacci numbers and binary numbers we are very we can relate this with ancient people that the fibonacci sequence first appeared in indian mathematics known as matra meru mentioned in the text written by pingal mathematicians vrihank gopal and hemchandra they also developed the methods for generating those numbers long before fibonacci introduced the sequence to western europe
so we can give the credit about this maths to our ancient indians binary numbers the fundamental language of computer programming consist of one and zero combinations called bits and bytes and the binary number system was first described by vedic scholar pingal in his book chand shastra the earliest known sanskrit treatise when we talk about aryabhat we will see that aryabhat has brought the definitions for cosine sine inverse sine verse sine which gave birth to trigonometry and he was one of the first mathematician to determine sine and verse sine tables from 0 to 90 degree in the interval of 3.75 degrees to an accuracy of four decimal places the modern names of trigonometric functions sin and cosine are derived from the sanskrit words jya and kojya which were introduced by aryabhat he also correctly stated that the earth rotates on its axis and that the moon and planet shine by reflected sunlight he also provided scientific explanations for lunar eclipse and solar eclipse the major works of his that have not been lost are aryabhatiya and arya siddhant in both has work he explored mathematics and astronomy with correlation and he also explained how mathematical equations could help find out the workings of the world via astronomy astronomical wonders we can take with varaha meher also who was a well known one among the navratnas of the court of king vikramaditya he was born in 499 ad besides panch siddhantika brihat jatika laghu jatak uh, vivaha patlam yatrar gandha he also wrote sams samhita atakravana dik kaniyatra and grahan mandal palha and panch pakshi and the kini yatra so varaha meher made ground breaking contributions to the field of astronomy including the earthquake cloud theory and the use of animals and plants as indicators of underground water so it was a great contribution towards astronomy by varaha meher in indian concept pioneering medicine ayurveda Ayurveda the ancient indian system medicine focused on holistic health and longevity treating the root cause of disease rather than just the symptoms sushrut he was a pioneer in field of surgery he performed the ground breaking procedures like rhinoplasty that is a kind of a plastic surgery which was done by sushrut in ancient time period and the cataract removal with the techniques remarkably similar in the modern methods were used in ancient time period charak is also known as the father of ancient indian medicine made significant contribution to the understanding of digestion metabolism and immunity yog is very much known with patanjali the ancient science of yoga systematized by patanjali aimed to achieve physical mental and spiritual balance through a holistic approach to wellness atomic theory people think that it is a today's theory but it was already introduced by ancient indians one of the notable scientists of ancient india who was known as kanad who is said to have devised the atomic theory centuries before john dalton was born he speculated the existence of anu anu means the small indestructible indestructible particles much like an atom he also stated that any can have two states absolute rest and a state of motion so he further held that atoms of same substance combined with each other in a specific synchronized manner to produce dvayank yani diatomic molecules and triyum means triomic molecules so this was a ground breaking ground breaking theories of atomic which was provided by kanad in ancient india 
Earthquake theory was also prescribed by Varamir's Bharat Samhita, which included a chapter on earthquake prediction relating them to planetary influences, underground activity, and animal behavior. Genetics. Charak, the father of ancient Indian medicine, had a fundamental understanding of genetics centuries before the modern field of genetics emerged. Plastic surgery, as just now we have said, that uh, Sushrut Samhita, it is mentioned, it is the most comprehensive textbook on ancient surgery. And this text not only mentioned about the plastic surgery or rhinoplasty, pl plasty, it talks about the illness, plants preparation, cures, along with the complex techniques of plastic surgery. The Sushrut Samhita's most well known contribution to plastic surgery is the reconstruction of the nose, known as rhinoplasty concepts of space time and matter was also a unique thing which was given by the indians concepts of space time and matter yoga vashist in ancient indian text over 29000 verses long traditionally attributed to valmiki author of the epic ramayana which is over 2000 years old but the internal evidence of the text indicates that it was authored or compiled later on so it had been dated variously as early as the 6th century AD or as late the 13th or the 14th century dated it about the 6th century AD on the basis of that one of its verses appears to be copied from one of Kalidasa's plays considering Kalidas to have lived around the 5th century. Metalgiri, Indians were very good as wood steel and still you can see the best example that is the Delhi, uh, Delhi iron pillar and bronze statues. So, wood steel, a highly advanced form of steel produced in ancient India, renowned for its sharpness and toughness and exported as far as Damascus. A 15 Hundred year old wrought iron pillar in Delhi is the best example, renowned for its rust resistant properties due to the presence of phosphorus. Bronze statues, ancient Indian craftsmen excelled as at bronze casting, producing large intricate statues like the famous Nataraja figures, which is already there in South Indian temples. So, Charak and Sushrut, they described the properties of six metals, iron, tin, lead, copper, gold and silver in their text. The medical chemist formulated in producing many alkalis, that is K2CO3, Na2CO3, acids and metallic salts by calcination, introduced and distillation. So, books written in the later periods refer to the use of mercury, zinc and sulfur also. Nagarjun is a same synonymous with alchemy, chemistry and metalgiri. His Ras Ratnakar and Ras Ratna Samuchya are his renowned contribution to throwing light on alchemy and related subjects. So we know from the evidence of Iron Pillar of Delhi and other sources that metalgiri has a rich tradition in ancient India. The extractions of metals from ores and mixing of different metals to obtain alloys that is brass, bronze and steel were known and their products like wood, steel, swords, weapons etc. were in great demand in the Roman Empire and in the Middle East. India was the first to smelt zinc by the distillation process, an advanced technique derived from a long experience of ancient alchemy. The ancient Persians had also attempted to reduce zinc oxide in an open furnace but had failed. Zawar in Tiri Valley of Rajasthan is the world's first known ancient zinc smelting site. The distillation technique of zinc production goes back to the 12th century AD and is an important contribution of India to the world of science. The legacy of Indian science, pioneering discoveries. So, ancient Indian scholars made groundbreaking contributions to mathematics, astronomy, medicine and more often centuries before their western counterparts. Global impact. Many of the innovations and theories de developed in ancient India had a profound impact on the advancement of science and technology worldwide nowadays. 
continued relevance so even today ancient indian scientific and medical practices such as ayurveda and yoga continue to be studied and applied globally extensive efforts are underway to uncover document and preserve the rich history of ancient indian science and its contribution to the world now we are reviving our traditional knowledge also so there is a growing movement to revive and integrate ancient indian scientific and medical medical practices into modern systems recognizing their enduring value and the next legacy that is inspiring future generations so by highlighting the remarkable achievements of ancient indian scholars we can inspire and empower future generations to continue the legacy of scientific innovations here i have given the references which you can read further to enhance your knowledge so thank you all have a good day